sick of science. We're sick of people not listening to the scientists. Or maybe we're sick of scientists telling us how to live. Or maybe you're not like that. Maybe you're somewhere in the middle. What really bothers you is that piece of you that knows there's something just a little bit fucked up in trusting scientists on everything. That even if all the scientific researchers and doctors out there were as great as they claim to be, there's still something resembling a good reason not to trust them. Here's what I want to do, right now. Put to bed this maddening hatred of the scientific community. And I'm not going to do it by begging. I'm going to do it by telling you it's okay to not like those scientists and why you should listen to them anyway why you shouldn't try to build your world around being unlike them scientists are desperate to be seen as superior to their peers and will mock their own scientists have endorsed some pretty horrifically inhumane things not too very far into the past scientists think just because they learn the secrets of the natural world, that automatically we should govern our nation, change industry, adjust economy, according to their wishes. Scientists have emotional orgasms thinking about their theories being proven true in the near future. They will bet everything on being right, and when proven not quite right, they will get off further, spouting condescending scorn upon their rivals. Scientists, indeed, are a little bit all like the mad portrayal of them, craving so much power, feeling as though anything they do inspired by science could never be their fault. Scientists and doctors are too eager to bring treatments and solutions that may be easily far from what they claim will work. Scientists are inspired desperately to fulfill some good by science, and will also use science to try and escape any of their faults. Scientists are schmucks, but that doesn't mean they're invalid. That doesn't mean we should do what they don't want us to do. In spite of the bastardry of science, it's still their fucking job to try and figure out what the fuck is happening. And there's always going to be some friction between what a scientist wants the people and the government to do and what is actually best for them to do. Scientists will always be a little out of touch with how their discoveries might affect our society in other ways. They could even preach some strong ethical opinions that can't really be validated with science. But even if you keep berating scientists and trying to call them out on their lust for changing the world, that just might lack a few strong foundations, they're still going to be right about nearly everything in the physical fucking world. Really fucked up mistakes have and will take place in the name of not being like a dorky scientist. The scientists will tell you to change your behavior, and you'll take it personally and defy the shit out of them. It makes sense to want to not listen to the scientists. It's okay to not want to wash your hands if you think that makes you feel like you are dirty. You can bet your ass a lot of people are going to suffer for it. If you actually think that suffering is worth something far greater then you're not much better than a mad scientist yourself. You're just giving your own society the Frankenstein treatment. Apologies, please, to those with master's degrees. <laughs>